Welcome back to Prey. It's time to enter the hardware labs and look for Dr. Calvino's workshop. Ooh. I love how this looks. You know, I should probably assign my shotgun to something better. Um, so first is wrench, that's good. Glue cannon, that's good. Let's put this on four. Yeah, that's fine. Should probably stick with this as the default, huh? It's probably my best quick response weapon. If something's up in my face, I hopefully can just take it out with one shot. Whoa. Yeah, what did that say about combat sneak attacks? Yeah, I know how to sneak. Um, while sneaky moves silently, it can hide behind cover to avoid being spotted. As enemies detect you, a meter will appear over them. Mm -hmm. Unaware enemies take more damage from your attacks. Okay. Okay. I didn't know that. So, it looks like we have controlled robots. Let's see if I can just like bop it in the back of the head with a wrench. I imagine a charge up wrench attack from a sneak position would probably be pretty powerful. Oh. No, get down there. Secondary explosions. Damn, that thing had a lot of health. Only you can prevent ground fires. Q beam cells. Some sort of laser weapon? Asteroid fragment. Whoa, I can look through it. And I can see all the destruction. And what is that out there? There's something out there. That's not really moving. I don't know what that is. It's that. What the heck is that? I can't tell. Excerpt from an article on the colonization of Mars by Dan Ousley. The cost of these Mars installations and their continued maintenance is staggering, and their Spartan shells are a far cry from the idyllic colonies pictured by turn-of-the-century inspirational space tourism boasters. All that might be about to change. In a rare interview, Transtar President Alex Yu reveals his vision of a Mars where families in short sleeves can picnic in a grassy field, then pick out the point of light that is Earth after the sun sets. Looking to terraform Mars? Mm-hmm. You presents an innocuous gray moss to me. An extremophile organism designed specifically for that purpose. Dubbed Takakia catherine, the simple-looking plant is actually a fantastically efficient organic machine that, given enough centuries, will convert the Martian atmosphere into something that very much resembles our own. I hope that gray moss didn't turn into all these monsters. Space elevator, already seen that two times. I hear... A... I keep reading their names. Not polymorph, right? Starts with a P, I think. 
commercialization of the space program. Uh, I think we've read this. Actually, no, I think this is a different... I think we've read something... Maybe the first part of this or something. Empty. What? What happened to my glue cannon? Get back on number two. No space. Big Bang candy. Guess the Big Bang theory is really big. Even in the future. You're my only hope. I sent Larson to the demo theater to see if he can sneak a bottle of old Sardar. Join us? Hope, just a heads up that... The Artax pop, uh, propulsion system demo will have to be delayed. We're still working on a slow. Ah, ha, ha, ha. We're still working on a slight recalibration issue in the machine shop, but it's nothing to worry about. Maybe I should just eat my food. Nah, I'm gonna hoard it. Level two hacking can't do it. Okay, never mind. There's so much food here. I'm gonna eat some of it. I wish I could, like, sort by food. Type, size, name, type. Is that sorting by food? I don't think so. Oh, I just eat two things and I'm well fed. Did I just do? I just ate. Oh, I can eat from the quick menu, can't I? Does it just eat whatever? Like whatever the news thing is? Or do I? Is it just eating that one specific thing? It just eats whatever. Okay. I should probably do it that way. I'm wondering if I should use my shotgun against that thing. Or would that be a waste? Holy crap. I set off security. But also, holy crap, I thought that thing would go down in one shot with a shotgun, but that thing is a tank. Phantom coming? Sounds like he's running. I think I'm safe here, though. I don't think it has any way to get in. Wherever it might be. Sounds like it's right through here. Oh shit, it might be up there. I want to turn that damn thing off. I hate that noise, it bothers me. Hardware labs locked. Need a key card. Oh. Ah. A weapon upgrade kit. Another pistol? If I wanted it. Oop. Take the ammo. Let's 
Silence pistol ammo fabrication plans. I really need to dump my extra materials. I've got too much of it. Okay, um, I think I'm going to spend the upgrade probably on the shotgun. That's got to be the best weapon I have, right? Let's see. Firepower. More damage? That'd be fantastic. Recoil. I can't say that's a problem. Ammo capacity would be nice, but I'd rather do more damage. Yeah, more damage. Oh. So to go another level actually requires gunsmith one, so you need, like, a ability or something. Okay. I feel like I have neuromods to spend as well. I think I do. Yeah, I've got three of them. Don't remember when I got all those, but I should probably spend them, huh? So I could be better at sneaking, which would be cool. Move faster. That'd be good. Better stamina. Be okay. Increases your health to 150. That's big. That's really big. I don't want that. Mm, eh. I definitely don't want that. <laughs> that requires four. I could save up and go for another level of hacking. I do want to be a hacker. Hmm. It's probably either be a hacker or the movement speed or the health. Probably the health. The health or save up for hacking. I'm going to save up for hacking. Security controls. Can I reset it? Ah. Oh. Bliss. Oh. Open up the security locker. Cool. Probably won't use that. And this is just the old tracking stuff, right? Yeah. So if I had Repair 3, which definitely would be a ways off, I could fortify it and I guess make it stronger. They do seem very... Whoa! Thank you, turret. They do seem very weak. Against pretty much anything but a Mimic. I keep defaulting to the glue gun. Another weapon upgrade kit. <gasps> but yeah, I can't do it again. Gunsmith. Where do I get gunsmith from? Ammo capacity? We're spending on something else. What about the pistol? I mean, when am I going to want to use the pistol over the shotgun other than maybe when I run out of ammo with the shotgun? Firepower from 7 to 8, yeah, that does not do much damage. Range, accuracy, meh. I think I'm going to upgrade the shotgun. Um, let's go for ammo capacity. Oh, 
enough space. Nah, I don't feel like getting drunk drunk on duck beer. entrance. Is that thing going to be waiting for me back here? Is this the employee entrance? No. Duh, oh, almost went through there. Isn't that where Alex was, last I looked? Where'd it go? A lot of the station tech starts here. Lab equipment, special parts requests, prototypes. We should be able to fix your looking glass terminal from Dr. Calvino's workshop. One of the things here is an EMP charge. Be very useful against those robots, I imagine. And I want it. I need to free up some space. Um, mostly it's just junk. I really need a recycler. I'll come back for the EMP, I guess. I know there's a recycler that I could repair just past the level transition there, but I don't want to go through that. There's probably another one somewhere around here. Can't be that far away. Right now I'm looking for some sort of an explosive like that. I've got an idea. Oh, shit. Ah! Nice. All right, that didn't go too bad. Gives me an excuse to eat a bunch of food. Which... Ah, oh, no. I accidentally combat thinged. I combat timed. Let's do it from here. Eat, eat, eat. Well fed. Nice. Ooh. I'm just getting too much stuff. Maybe I won't save up for hacking, I'll save up for upgrading my suit. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna go for hacking. Oh, 
That's the my abilities ready again thing. Oh, I wanted to break the window, but it's already broken. Can probably put that all out with my glue gun. Demonstration stage. Oh! Oh! Oh, right. Yeah, I'm gonna test out my shotgun. Let's do it. But also, that encounter also answered one of my questions, which is, um, if you are visible to them only through leaning, can they see you? And the answer is yes, because I was only visible through leaning and they fully discovered me. So leaning is not foolproof. Need their keycard to get in there. Ah, Dr. Calvin's storage locker. So you're supposed to use leverage to get these all moved, right? I wonder though, could you blow it up maybe? Like if I found another one of those explosive canisters and moved it over here and shot it, would that work? Also, is that explosive? Stay down here for now. Electronics. Let's see if I can put out these fires. Important. Log every time you enter the maintenance crawl space through the access panel. Leaky pipe fixed. Unexplained light flicker. Unable to locate source. Electrical device near machine shop door unstable. Used local adhesive for temporary fix. <laughs> in case of emergency, head in the maintenance crawl space via the small access panel below to shut off local power. Notify me immediately.
Oh, so that just shut down all the sparks. Although I think I could have stopped that with my glue gun, but this way saves ammo. Oh, I also made this place incredibly dark, didn't I? Hmm. Need repair two to do it. Oh, and the doors won't open without power. So I guess that's only useful if you have repair two. Whoa. Yeah, okay. Now it's good. Evil robot inside. So I can go either up, over there, or this way. Let's go to the ballistics lab. Oh. Yeah, I'm not going in there. Ballistic Slab keycard. Recycler charge. What's that? When detonated, the recycler charge breaks down the molecular strength of nearby objects into recyclable material. Hmm? Your uniform offers some degree of protection, but is not fail-safe. Standing too close can prove hazardous. Interesting. That doesn't give me much information to work off of, though. Like, do I want to be particular about where I put it? What kind of places would give you the best yield of materials? Does it only work? Maybe it only works on loose objects. Like, I can't imagine you could just place it, like, here and absorb the, the window or something, right? Let's just do it real quick and just see what happens. Do I have to, like, activate it after putting it down? Oh, maybe it just doesn't work if there isn't an object to absorb. Oh, shit. Ooh. <laughs> Beautiful cubes! <laughs> yeah, so that didn't give you much. I think it does work on loose objects. That is so cool. I love material cubes. Although, what loose objects did it work on? I don't see anything in this hallway. Maybe it sucks stuff from the other rooms or something? <laughs> I'm gonna eat some more food. Oops. I hear one of those things nearby. Hmm, lots of loose material in there, almost as if I'm supposed to use the grenade on it. Lily, I was testing the recycler charge and something peculiar happened. 
I placed the usual source material into the chamber and set off the charge. Mixed in with the result was something I've never seen before. A purple, almost organic looking substance. Maybe something contaminated the source material? I'm unsure how to proceed, so I've placed the unidentified material in the safe for now. Ah! Oh, they thought it was just an object, but it was one of those things. Been informed you're in need of an updated recycler charge fabrication plan. It just so happens I have a spare plan in my quarters. Remind me before next shift, and I'll bring it down. Dr. Thorstein. Be nice to have a plan of that. Ooh, hacking one. I can do that. Exotic material, synthetic material, mineral material. You're like, it looks like I should be able to do something with this, but it doesn't seem like it. Nope. Oh, I need leverage to get this grate off? Oh, no! That's torturous! Ooh. Let's see if this works. Ah, it does, kind of. Not in like any super scripted way, so you're not guaranteed that it gets pushed away enough, but it does move it. For Lily, new code is 5826. Oh yeah. No reason to do that anymore, huh? Someone's been squirreling away their material balls. In memoriam, right? Halux. Date of incident, blah blah blah. Lily Morris. Description recycler charge went off with my foot in range. The organic material that was once a part of me is now neatly compacted into this sphere you see before you. Take heed. Oh, that thing I just took was their foot. Oh, God. Hmm. Cardboard seems to give you a good yield. Even more. Chamber sealed, recycler, or EMP charge in grenade container. Release recycler charge? Oh. Beautiful. Oh, is that manual override for if you get stuck in there? Alright, I think I've cleaned this place out. So, up. Or... Oh! Wow! Ha ha ha! Holy shit! The 
That can't be all the food I have, is it? Huh, I guess it is. Really? Yeah. Alright, I guess I'll finally use the medkit. After all this time, I haven't been using medkits for like forever, and I only have four. They really are precious. Just use one. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. So how about that range, huh? <clears throat> Just trying to be really careful. Oh yeah, and then there's a demonstration stage. Was there another panel that I could go inside of, or was it just that one and I just... Nope, there's another one. Yet another wrench. Oh. First time getting one of these. Highly effective against robots, turrets, and other electrical-based entities. Okay. that. Aha! Uh -huh. So I guess I can just use them to, like, if I use that on a phantom, is it just gonna suck up the entire phantom? Will it just instantly kill it? Or just do damage to it, or, or what? I wonder how that works. the stage. It's sparking again already. enough to give the next level of hacking. Yes. Recycler. Yes. Yes, please. many things on the ground. <laughs> now anytime there's things on the ground, I'm like, hmm, mimics? Nope, just glorious materials. Oh, chipset. Generate stamina more quickly. Heck yeah. All right, transfer junk. Oh, beautiful. I love it. Do I have any extra garbage things? 
Nope. So, let's grab this, recycle it too. Oh, wait for the cubes. Haha, <laughs> jackpot! I wonder if you can recycle so much stuff that it just like can't fit and it just overflows and spills out. shop I was just I I heard an explosion forget that grab whatever you can and get to my office we're evacuating what what should I neuro mods exotic materials just hurry meet me in my office yes sir and bring a glue gun let's go recycle this stuff too Alright, I think it's time to go up. Oh, security station is my goal. Oh, this is optional use the security station to discover where their body is. Um, yeah, I guess I should do that, huh? And Hendrik Devry's body is apparently over that way. That wasn't here before. Oh right, the thing's probably up above, that's what I figured before, right? Well, anyway, I'm just gonna lock that shut, feel more comfortable. I'd rather be trapped inside with the mimics, you know? Um, so, what's his name again? Calvin... Hardware Labs. Hardware Labs. Calvin, Calvin, Calvin. I must have skipped it. Conrad? Oh, Calvino, right. Looking Glass Specialist, Harper Labs. Alright, where are you? Over there. So they're upstairs, yeah. Hello? Hey, it's Langley. Are you a... Is there anything weird going on over there? No, like what? I don't want you to panic. What is going on, Langley? Not sure yet. Security's running all over the place. So, everyone's still working there? I guess, I don't know. I've been in the lab all day, hang on. I'm looking now. I don't... What was that? Oh my god, I think we just lost two labs. What? Ugh, I have to go. I want to try out the recycler charge.
Oh. <laughs> oh my god, I was trying to attract the enemy, but it detected the foam dart. What did it turn it into? 0.23 mineral material. Oh. Joy. Right. Oh, nice! Surprisingly, it didn't turn into much. Oh, wait, it didn't even... Oh, it didn't absorb the bolt, I guess. I guess it just set it off, but it absorbed something else. But yeah, that is highly effective. Was there a mimic up here? It could be that, I suppose, but... I'm not going to try hitting it. That side of the lab was breached. Oh. Hard vacuum. No gravity. There's an exterior airlock in the machine shop you could use to reach him. You'll have to upgrade your suit with a propulsion system first. Find an Artax Propulsion System Fabrication Plan. Sorry, I didn't mean it. I guess I could spawn one of those things, but I'm not hurt, so I don't think there's any reason to. Got scared by the door. Came really close to hitting that explosive canister, huh? Slithery little monster. So an EMP grenade would be good against one of those. Now, I don't remember, does an EMP just disable them, like temporarily, and then you still have to kill them, or does it just disable them? Just outright. Where is it? No, uh, that doesn't say. Not sure. Probably disables them permanently. It probably would just fry them completely. Mm. 
There's two moving, and then one that looks like it might be... I don't know, maybe it would wake up. exactly how I planned that to go. Okay, it does only temporarily disable them. Also, that grenade did not go as far as I thought it would. I was trying to throw it in between the two and get both of them at the same time, but instead it, like, only hit one, I think. They don't actually do terrible damage, though. Thankfully. Okay, I don't trust this one on the ground. I was right to not trust it, but my reactions weren't fast enough. Damn, almost got it. trying to get at this from the other side. Oh. Radiation. What will that do to me if I get closer, and is there something I can do to protect myself against that? Level one? Easy. Mods. Weapon upgrade kit? We need to up the reload speed on the glue cannon. The actuators are slow on this thing. Two narrow mods. Doubles both the duration of the well fed bonus and the health gained by consuming food. I'm not running out of medical supplies, so not going to go with that. Leverage. I keep avoiding leverage. I'm probably just not going to get leverage at all. Gunsmith. I might save up for that. Stealth would be good, too. I think I'm gonna save up for gunsmith or just spend it on stealth. What does that open up? Sneak attack. Do 200% damage to enemies while they are unaware of you. That's really good. Walk and run without making noise. Oh, that'd be good too. Sprint without making noise. Uh, I'm gonna do stealth because I want this 200% damage.
Repair <laughs> three? That's not happening. Ooh. Hello. Some good stuff in there. Could probably make my way up there with the glue cannon. Actually, I definitely could make my way up there. And I guess I'm going to save my um, weapon upgrade kit till I have gunsmith. Or should I just spend it? I'm just gonna spend it. Let's not hoard it. Glue cannon or shotgun? This disruptor stun gun still proves to be almost useless. <laughs> Although robotic enemies are damaged and temporarily disrupted. Could be useful against the robots. I haven't thought of using it. I probably should. Okay, maybe the glue cannon. Like, handling, no way. Range, I don't think that matters. Reload, no, no, these just, they all suck. <laughs> I'm not spending it on that. And a 20% increase in reload speed, I don't think that matters either. Those would hurt me to do, to spend, I have two weapon upgrade kits? Oh, whatever, I'm just gonna keep them. I'm gonna hoard them, I'm sorry. I'm too filled with indecision. Excerpt from Engineer Clive Lawrence's work journal. Entry 4, preliminary tests with an increased spring constant are proving promising, but it's tricky getting fabricators to make them stiff enough, but not brittle. Another option is scavenging cargo brought up from Earth. Thorstein's assistant has an eagle eye, though. Entry 4, supplement. Dr. Clive's diary. Or, dear Clive's diary. He's just trying to impress Mary by coming up with an improvement to her toy gun design. Even if he was smart enough to improve on her work, he, she'd never give him the time of day. Supplemental supplemental. I'm well on my way to figuring out how to increase the range and stay the hell out of my journal, Franklin. Huntress is ready. Oh. <laughs> I think it's ready to go now. I've dubbed it the Huntress Boltcaster. So that's what this thing is? She... Mary developed this thing? It's their pet project. Clive, I love your idea for capacitive tips on the bolts. Whoa. Send me a technical spec and I'll incorporate it into the ammo fabrication plan. Those tips will activate any touchscreen they hit. I've gathered a lot of trash for feeding the fabricators so we can make some of these after work and try them out. Oh, so you're telling me I'm actually going to upgrade that thing? Actually, can I upgrade it right now? No. Have you looked into the operator dispenser logs and the missing parts? Please do, it's not my responsibility, it's Morgan's. In a reply to, I'll bring it up with Alex next. Dr. Thorstein, I checked the Neuromod stamps and the lattices in the fabricator and both check out. There's no obvious failure in the components. I may need to disassemble the machine. It's possible there's something in the specs Igwa is using that's causing the failure rate? Hard to believe, it was pretty thorough, but we all make mistakes. I'll keep working on it. Maybe there's something specific about that batch. Aren't there a few scrambled ones last cycle, too? Thanks for the update, I'll handle it from here. Oh! Gets me every time. Christ, that scares the hell out of me. I really just never expect how long the range on that thing is. Okay, I'm back here. This is the other side from that terminal that I was reading before. Conveyor controls. 
cannot operate conveyor without proper authorization. Eh, whatever. Perfect. Circuit board, EMP charge, and a neural mod. Now I needed one more neural mod to get the thingy I was going for, right? Gunsmith. Oh no, that's right, I spent two of it. I forgot. Sorry, I need three more now to get gunsmith. Let's not open that exit door. <laughs> Death. Death awaits. Oh, you know what? Is this one of those medical things? Yes. Requesting new operator. Transfer Cobalt 410 Engineering Class. Oh, it's an engineering one, so it improves my suit, not my health. Okay. Makes sense. Oh, um, before pressing that button, there's this area that I think I can get up to. Oh, the fabrication plan's up there, so I think I have to go up there. I might be able to just straight up just jump right here. No, I guess not. Alright, will this thing stick there? Yes. Alright, this will be easy then. Uniform Guide. Designed for your safety, comfort, and to facilitate your work, the uniform must be worn at all times while on board the station. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, and it lists what colors mean what. Sorry for the bolts all over the machine shop. It's really the only place I can try out the new gun. I think it's coming along rather nicely. Still want to help? I've already recruited Mary. Don't sweat it when the cat's away and all that. I think I have a few ideas. Draw something up and set it to you and Mary. Psychotronic satellite. The satellite presently in the repair bay of the machine shop is scheduled to be decommissioned. However, Dr. Kelstrup has requested that we remove the psychotronic transistor elements and install them in the new satellite. I don't know what they do, so don't bother asking. Just get it done ASAP. That was the fab plan. Transfer junk. Got a couple extra pistols. Fabricating plans for the Huntress Boltcaster version 1.3. Noise reduction on trigger action. Decreased weight. Finalized name to the Huntress Boltcaster rejected Clive's suggestion of pain thrower and Franklin's excruciator. <laughs> ah, it's for the ammo. 
increased accuracy of the bolts, reworked lattice structure of the foam so it's less likely to crumble in your hands. Attempt at reducing impact noise are still fruitless. Good. It's a distraction kind of thing. Warning radiation. Mary, as I'm sure you've noticed, there's been an issue with one of the tanks near the supply closet, and it's now causing a bit of radiation. Please stay clear and spread the word until I can get what I need to clean this up. Hey Mary, Gary Snow here. I work in cruise services. I heard some scuttlebutt about a new dart gun you guys worked up. Possibly something about an assassin-style game in the Arboretum and crew quarters? I want in. Alright, I can make all sorts of stuff now. So that's how much I have of each thing. Got a good amount of supplies. Well, this is the most important one, obviously. Oh, that doesn't require much at all. Can be attached to your transfer uniform. Also assists with jumps in normal gravity. Ooh! I get long jumps? Hold space while falling to glide or slow your descent. Okay, so I don't think it makes us you jump higher. It just means that you can, yeah, sort of glide. Across gaps and stuff like that. Okay. Cool. So how am I doing on ammo for this thing? 42 at 218. That's pretty good. Plenty of medkits. Yeah, I really need um, shotgun ammo. That's really just about all I want to make. I don't really want to make anything else. I don't know, I guess I'll make one of this. I see some stuff over there, and I do believe this propulsion system will allow us to get over there. Let's see if we can get there without using the glue gun. Ah, yeah. More amp charges. Looks like there's a roof axis over there. Hmm. Whole new world of possibilities. There's something up there. Some garbage, it looks like, but I love me some garbage. Oh, Christ. finding stuff in this game. It's so fun. It feels so meaningful, because everything you get, it's not just like... You know how a lot of games require you to have specific crafting ingredients? I really, really, really love the system they have here of... It's not just like a specific thing, like you need ten circuits, you need five wires or something like that. It's just everything turns into generic material. So everything feels meaningful, because everything pretty much can be used for what you want to make. What am I missing over there? Uh, I can't tell. It's probably pretty good though if it's, it's radiation stuff. I mean, <laughs> what if I just try like shooting it? Or covering with foam? I mean, I don't even know what's leaking radiation. Is it the red one that's leaking? I could try covering it with foam. Is there anywhere else I can glide to? Looking for flashies. 
What the? Also, how do I get in here? Ah. Uh, leverage three. I think I'll try explosives. My telescope is like a very weak zoom. you come from? Hmm, I've got no food left. Med pack, I guess? Nah, maybe I'll find a med bot or something. Alright, did that do it? No. No, no, no. Still didn't do it. Okay, I guess I'll leave it. Or I could just try running in. I'm gonna do it. Run! Get that thing. I don't know what that is. Radiation poisoning detected. Seek medical attention. Warning. Vital signs critical. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine, right? I'm not getting hurt anymore. Is the radiation going away? If that was just all that for a glue cannon, then it is not worth it. I don't even know what the other thing is that I picked up. I don't know, probably spare parts. I've got so many spare parts. Christ. Is the radiation gonna go away? Maybe I just won't do that. It's possible the radiation doesn't go away unless you visit, like, a uh, medical bot or something. It might just take a long time, or maybe it's something you can't cure with a med kit. Okay. Explosives. Let's gather some things that blow up. I think there's some more left in here. Yeah. Now, these look awfully heavy. These things that I need to move, so I don't know if this is going to do much. Actually, another one I think will do it. Crap, is there not another one? Oh, there's one. Oh, ho, 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 don't walk over the fire with a bomb in your hand. <laughs> oh, Christ. I think I just get in there, actually. Alright, um, so let's try the stun gun. That's not doing much of anything? But I have to hit it like three times before it actually 
disrupted it? I think... God, stun gun sucks. Still not gonna use a make kit. Nope. Suppose I should reload it. Does reloading it like waste the whole cartridge? Probably does. Typhon Lure? AKA Nightlight emits a psycholuminescent signal that entices Typhon to move toward the lure for a short period of time. Combined with other weapons or tactics to escape, ambush, or observe Typhon from a safe distance. Hmm. Excerpt from Book 2 of the Starbender Cycle by Fetcher McMarvin. As the Mordra scream flare crumpled to the ground in front of her, Mercy flexed her fingers. They ached from all the choking. Trevor rounded the corner behind her, Faye's pistol still smoking, the cries of the Mordra hot on his heels. Mercy grunted, I don't get it, Trevor. Why did you spring me from this kill prison? I've tried to off you like seven times. Trevor replied between blasts of his pistol. Because you're the only one who's come close to killing me. Another blast. And you're the only one I can trust. We're going to steal the Starbender prism out from under Prince Argon's nose. Mercy could only smirk. Her fingers were feeling better already. <laughs> what kind of schlock sci-fi is that? Weapon kit? I can fabricate my own weapon kits? That's big. It's probably very expensive, but still. Man, I'm so glad I got my way in here. Some really good stuff. So many Psy Hypos. What do I have, like 10 now? 11. Also, I love that I found that trick to not needing to have the leverage skill. Now I really am justified in not taking it. I just don't need it. You can just blow it up. Oh, I blew up my glue. I want to see what the weapon kit takes to fabricate. Oh, just 3-3. Three, three. That's not bad at all. That's really not bad at all. Ooh. I'm gonna fabricate a couple. So now I've got what, four? So I'll save some for when I get the gunsmith thing, but might as well spend a couple, huh? I don't think recoil is important. Reload speed? Sure. I really feel bad about upgrading the glue cannon. I use it so often, but like, the stats that I can upgrade are just not good. How often do I need to reload? I guess, actually, it runs out pretty fast. Range, though, I don't think I really care about. Pistol, I... I don't see the point in it. Yeah, I, I guess I'll save my other two upgrade kits. Unless I want to upgrade this thing, but this thing is, like, seriously useless so far. Nope. Oh, 
my suit's a little bit damaged. Every airlock has a manual seal you'll have to disengage before you can spacewalk. While engineered as a safety measure, it's irrelevant when the enemy is already inside the station. If you do go out there, I wouldn't stray far. The Typhon may have spread to the exterior. And remember, other airlocks you find will have to be open from the inside first. Looks like you've already got a propulsion system, so you should be fine maneuvering. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. The more I play Prey, the more I like it. It's so freaking good. I'm so glad I'm playing it. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're gonna go find Dr. Lorenzo Calvino's body, and move around in zero gravity. <laughs>